When exploring Mauritius, you have several options for getting around. Arrival by air. The gateway to paradise. As your plane descends toward Sir Siwusagor Ramgulam International Airport, the world outside your window transforms into a mesmerizing canvas. Turquoise lagoons, like precious gemstones, dot the coastline. Their calm waters cradle coral reefs, home to a symphony of marine life, a silent invitation to explore beneath the surface. The emerald forests, dense and mysterious, stretch inland. Their canopy whispers secrets, tales of centuries-old ebony trees, their trunks gnarled and wise. Birds flit between branches, their vibrant plumage a living rainbow against the green backdrop. You catch glimpses of waterfalls, their silver threads cascading down rugged cliffs, as if nature herself weeps tears of joy at your arrival. The anticipation builds, an electric current humming through the air. The runway, seemingly endless, stretches before you. It's not just a strip of tarmac, it's a bridge between worlds. The edge beckons, an invisible line where the mundane ends and magic begins. You imagine stepping off, defying gravity, and surrendering to this tropical wonderland. The pilot's voice crackles over the intercom, announcing your safe touchdown. The wheels kiss the ground, and suddenly, you're no longer a mere traveler, you're part of a story woven into the fabric of Mauritius. The scent of frangipani and salt hangs in the air, promising adventure and discovery. Welcome to paradise, dear wanderer. The island awaits, ready to reveal its secrets, one sunset, one sugarcane field, one warm smile at a time. The sea beckons, cruising to Mauritius. Picture yourself on the deck of a cruise ship, the salty breeze tousling your hair. The sun dips below the horizon, casting a golden glow on the water. Dolphins playfully leap alongside, their sleek bodies slicing through the waves. As the ship approaches the harbor, you catch sight of the vibrant markets and colonial-era buildings lining the shore. Close your eyes, fellow traveler, and let your imagination unfurl its sails. Wave ship. Step aboard. The deck of dreams. You stand on the sun-kissed deck, the salty breeze weaving through your hair like a mischievous sprite. The ship beneath your feet is more than wood and steel. It's a vessel of anticipation, a promise of adventure. The sun, a molten orb, begins its descent, casting liquid gold upon the water. You inhale deeply, tasting the tang of salt and freedom. Dolphins as companions, a ballet of joy. And there they are, the dolphins. Graceful acrobats of the sea, they leap in joyful arcs, their sleek bodies slicing through the waves. Their laughter echoes across the water, a language older than time. You lean against the railing, eyes wide, heart dancing to their rhythm. They're not just creatures, they're fellow wanderers, inviting you to join their aquatic ballet. Golden hour. When the world holds its breath. As the sun kisses the horizon, the sea turns liquid gold. It's the hour when the world holds its breath, caught between day and night. The ship's wake is a shimmering path, a celestial highway leading to secrets unknown. You wonder what lies beyond that edge, where the sun dips into the embrace of the ocean. Perhaps it's a portal to other realms, guarded by mermaids and ancient sea gods. Harbor on the horizon, a tapestry of colors. And then, like a mirage materializing, the harbor appears. Colonial-era buildings stand proud, their pastel hues softened by time. Each facade tells a story, a tale of spice traders, pirates, and star-crossed lovers. The vibrant markets spill their treasures onto the cobbled streets. Spices mingle with silk, and the air hums with the cadence of bargaining. You catch the scent of vanilla and cardamom, a fragrant welcome. Anchoring in paradise, your journey begins. The ship glides toward the dock, ropes thrown expertly by weathered hands. You step onto the land of sugarcane fields and banyan trees. The sea, now at your back, whispers its secrets, a lullaby of tides and forgotten shipwrecks. Mauritius awaits, a symphony of colors and flavors. The dolphins, perhaps, follow you still, their laughter echoing in your heart. Dear traveler, you've arrived. The sea has woven its magic, and the island cradles you in its warm embrace. Let your senses feast, for this is Mauritius, the place where dreams set sail. Palm tree anchor sunrise. Navigating within Mauritius. Taxis. The chatter of Creole and smiles. As your feet touch the sun-warmed ground of Mauritius, the island whispers its welcome. The air, thick with the scent of vanilla and spices, wraps around you like a soft embrace. But it's not just the fragrant breeze that greets you, it's the people. 
Taxi drivers, their eyes crinkling at the corners, stand by their colorful vehicles. Their shirts are as vibrant as the coral reefs offshore, and their laughter carries the rhythm of the sea. They beckon you with a wave, inviting you into their world, a world where time slows and stories flow like the tides. Creole, the island's heartbeat, dances on their tongues. It's a language born from fusion, a blend of French, African, and Indian influences. When they speak, it's as if the waves themselves have found voice. You catch snippets of conversation, bienvenue, mon ami, or, zot bien, simple phrases that hold a universe of warmth. Negotiating the fare is an art form. It's not about haggling, it's about connection. You lean in, eyes crinkling like theirs, and ask about the best beach, the hidden waterfall, the spot where the sun kisses the ocean each evening. And they oblige, spinning tales of local legends. The ghostly shipwreck that still haunts true ox bitches. The ancient banyan tree where spirits gather under a full moon. The mermaid who weeps pearls on moonless nights. As you settle into the backseat, the taxi springs to life. The radio hums with Sega beats, a rhythm that pulses through the island's veins. Outside, sugarcane fields stretch like a green carpet, and bougainvillea spills over fences, painting them magenta and purple. The driver glances at you in the rearview mirror. You seek adventure, yes? He asks, his eyes twinkling. You nod, heart racing. And so, the adventure begins, a winding road, a hidden cove, a sunset that sets the sky ablaze. And all along the way, the air carries the promise. Mauritius will reveal its secrets if you listen closely, if you let the smiles and creole chatter guide you. Car rentals. Freedom on four wheels. Picture this. You stand before a row of gleaming cars, each one promising adventure. Renting a car in Mauritius is like receiving the key to a treasure chest. The kind that holds maps to hidden waterfalls and whispers of forgotten pirate coves car the key to exploration. You choose a compact hatchback, its paint still fresh from the island sun. The rental agent hands you the keys, and suddenly, the world expands. The road ahead is your canvas, and the steering wheel, your brush. You're no longer a mere traveler. You're an artist of asphalt, ready to paint your own masterpiece. Herb through sugarcane fields. The engine purrs to life, and you merge onto the road. To your left and right, sugarcane fields stretch like golden oceans. Their leaves rustle secrets, the tales of indentured laborers, the sweet alchemy of turning cane into crystalline sugar. You roll down the window, and the scent of molasses dances in. It's a fragrance that clings to your skin, a reminder that you're part of this fertile soil. Om past Hindu temples. As you drive, you encounter Hindu temples, their vibrant facades adorned with gods and goddesses. Each statue tells a story, Shiva, the cosmic dancer, Lakshmi, the bringer of wealth, Hanuman, the monkey god who leaps across centuries. You pause, respectful, and wonder about the prayers whispered here, the hopes carried on incense smoke, sailboat fishing villages and wooden boats. The road curves, revealing glimpses of the coast. Fishing villages appear, their pastel houses huddled together like old friends. Wooden boats, weathered and wise bob in the shallows. Fishermen mend nets, their laughter rising above the waves. You imagine their tales of storms battled and mermaids glimpsed, a folklore woven into the very fabric of the island. Anti-clockwise arrows navigating roundabouts, a whirl of adventure. Ah, the roundabouts. They're like merry-go-rounds of confusion, a dizzying dance where lanes merge and diverge. You signal left, then right, then left again, hoping you've deciphered the code. Horns beep, and fellow drivers exchange knowing glances. But fear not, soon, you'll master the art of roundabout navigation. Just remember, keep left, and let the chaos guide you. Dear traveler, your car becomes a time machine, a vessel that carries you through history, culture, and landscapes. So drive on, embrace the left side rhythm, and let the road unfold its secrets. Buses. The heartbeat of local life. Step onto the bus, the rolling theater of Mauritius. Its vibrant colors, reds, yellows, and blues, announce its arrival like a carnival procession. The doors hiss open, and you step into a world where time slows and stories unfold. Bust the canvas of windows. Each window frames a slice of life. Schoolchildren, their uniforms crisp as starched leaves, giggle in the back. Their backpacks sag under the weight of textbooks and dreams. They pass notes, secrets whispered in cursive. 
The bus jolts, and their laughter spills like marbles. Hibiscus elderly wisdom. In the front row, elderly women sit, their faces etched with sun-kissed lines. Their baskets overflow with mangoes, pineapples, and guavas, the bounty of their gardens. They share recipes, memories, and life advice. Plant your own garden, one says, her eyes twinkling. Life is sweeter when shared. Ticket the bus conductor, a maestro of fare and friendship. And there, in the narrow aisle, stands the bus conductor. His uniform, faded but dignified, bears witness to countless journeys. His smile, a crescent moon, welcomes passengers. He collects fares with a practiced hand, coins clinking like wind chimes. But it's not just money he gathers, it's stories. Where are you headed? He asks, leaning close. His breath smells of cardamom and sea salt. You tell him, and he nods, as if mapping constellations in his mind. Ah, that beach, he says. The waves there, they sing old songs. He winks, and suddenly, you're not a stranger, you're part of the island symphony. Palm tree the rhythms of the road. As the bus lurches forward, it carries you through villages and sugarcane fields. The radio plays Sega music, a beat that sinks with your heartbeat. The driver navigates roundabouts like a seasoned dancer, and passengers sway in unison. The bus becomes a vessel of shared dreams, hurtling toward the horizon. Dear traveler, hop on. Let the bus weave its magic, a tapestry of laughter, wisdom, and fleeting connections. For in these rolling moments, you'll find the heartbeat of Mauritius. Thank you for the delightful conversation. Glowing star if you ever need more assistance or want to explore new topics, feel free to return. Safe travels, and may your adventures be as colorful as the sunsets over Mauritius.